Today I'll be talking on CT and MRI of liver lesions. Uh, initially the anatomy, the cross anatomy, uh, the liver is uh, divided uh, by cantile into two main divisions, the right and left, a class, a line running from gallbladder fossa anteriorly to the anterior vena cava posteriorly. This divides the liver into equal halves. So the gross anatomy, you can see that the, the inferior vena cava is posterior and uh, the gallbladder fossa is anterior. And superiorly, it's a dome shaped surface. Uh, it has a dome shaped surface, and inferiorly, you have uh, the porta hepatis with three main structures: the portal vein, hepatic artery, and the bile duct uh, coursing through. Uh, the hepatic veins actually delete uh, the lobes and the segments. The middle hepatic vein divides it into right uh, and left lobes, and uh, later on, the left hepatic vein divides it into uh, the medial and lateral part of the left lobe, and the right uh, hepatic vein divides into anterior and posterior part of the segments of the right lobe. Here actually we have eight segments uh, uh, described by Covenard in the liver. Uh, these are mainly based on the vascular anatomy, four in each lobe, four segments in each lobe. The first uh, segment one is the caudate lobe which is quite independent, has its own vascularity and blood supply directly running into the anterior vena cava. The Covenard divided uh, eight uh, liver into eight segments based on vascular anatomy. It is very important for surgical planning. <clears throat> Here you can see that there are eight segments. As I told you earlier, the left hepatic vein divides uh, the left lobe into the uh, medial and lateral segments and right hepatic vein divides into anterior and posterior segments. Again, the superior and inferior segments are divided by the right and left portal veins. So we have uh, uh, segment 2, 3, 4, uh, again 4 as 4A and 4B in the left and 5, 6, 7, 8 on the, in the right lobe of the liver. 5 is the uh, uh, anterior and inferior and the uh, segmental uh, naming is uh, clockwise. There is 6 is inferior and posterior, 7 is superior and posterior, 8 is anterior and superior. Uh, vascularity, it is important to understand the vascularity of the liver to, uh, as a, from an imaging perspective because two thirds of the blood supply and nearly 80% of the blood supply to the normal liver is from the portal vein whereas the one third or approximately 20% is from the hepatic artery. The liver drains via hepatic veins into the anterior vena cava. And this is the histological anatomy, it is made up of uh, lobules, which are made of sinusoids. There is a central draining vein, which are bounded by the periphery by portal tract or uh, triad of three branches. At the cellular level, these uh, liver segments are uh, uh, mainly composed of uh, hepatocytes and cuffer cells, which are a part of the reticular endothelial system. Uh, in uh, CT and MRI, in the contrast studies, we basically uh, would like to study in three phases, arterial phase, portal phase, and equilibrium phase to understand the uh, imaging features of the particular lesions. Arterial phase, the, it is imaged in the early arterial phase. That is, the optimal timing and speed of injection are very important for a good arterial phase imaging because hypervascular tumors will enhance optimally around 35 seconds because this is a late arterial phase because the timing is needed for the contrast to get from peripheral vein to the hepatic artery and to diffuse into the liver tumor or lesions. Uh, early arterial phase is uh, only used when you need a, a proper arteriogram for instance, uh, to have a roadmap for key memorization of a liver tumor and other purposes. The uses of arterial phase imaging is the characterization of a liver which is of unknown origin or detection of a hepatocellular carcinoma in a high alpha 1 fetoprotein uh, which is indicator of carcinoma or screening of a cirrhotic patients for uh, secondary uh, hepatocellular carcinomas or detection of uh, metastasis with hypervascular tumors. Portal venous phase uh, actually images on the opposite idea that is in this this phase, the, the most of the liver gets loaded with the contrast and the tumors become hypovascular. So the hypovascular tumors can be detected in this portal venous phase. The best moment to start scanning is around 75 seconds. Actually, the portal phase starts around 35 seconds, but uh, the best period is to scan around 75 seconds. Equilibrium phase when contrast is moving away from the liver and liver starts to decrease in density. This uh, starts around 3 to 4 minutes and can be imaged at around 10 minutes. Uh, this can be uh, done, this is done basically to look for uh, Ask two more washout in a case.